Hey guys, Delta here, and welcome to the fifth episode of my Killzone Shadowfall Weapon Guide. In this episode, we will be covering the Star 25 Vlug, a Hellgas submachine gun being seen for the first time in Shadowfall. The Star 25 Vlug is a brand new submachine gun for Killzone Shadowfall, and does not appear to have any connection to the previous Star 11 SMG used by the Hellgast, aside from being manufactured by Stall Arms. It can be equipped by the Assault class in multiplayer. Despite its low damage, the Vlug is ideal for close range combat thanks to its incredibly small bullet spread. That said, it can also be effective at medium range when fired in bursts. The Star 25 kills in 6 hits to the bodies, and a headshot will be a 1 hit kill as always. Its effective range is decidedly average, but it is the second highest in the submachine gun category. As long as you stay in close to mid range battles, you shouldn't experience any drop off. The Vlug has a 30 round magazine, higher than both VSA submachine guns, and a strong advantage of this weapon. Combined with its firing rate of 600 rounds per minute, the Sta 25 is able to lay down a large amount of fire in a short period of time. As a result, players will need to reload often, and the Vlug's reload animation lasts for 2.5 seconds before the gun is raised and ready to fire again. The Star 25 has the standard optical attachments for all guns in the game, beginning with the default dot laser. In Shadowfall, these are the equivalent of iron sights. The first attachment available is the HGH variant of the hollow sight, as this is a Hellgast weapon. The hollow sight provides a larger field of view and a small magnification bonus of 1.2 times. This attachment is unlocked by killing 10 enemy players with the Vlug while aiming down the gun's sights. The second optical attachment for the Star 25 is the HGH ACOG sight. This sight is bulkier than the hollow sight, blocking out more of your peripheral vision, but provides a 1.6 times magnification bonus that allows the player to be more precise at longer ranges. This sight is unlocked by killing 25 enemies while zoomed in with the hollow sight equipped, and by killing one enemy player with a headshot while zoomed in with the hollow sight. There are also two under-barrel attachments for the Vlug. When neither is equipped, the Star 25 will have a vertical foregrip that has no statistical benefit. The first attachment is the Shotgun, a master key attached under the barrel of the gun. It has limited range, magazine capacity, and rate of fire, but within 10 feet it deals a ton of damage. This attachment is unlocked by completing three challenges, stunning 50 enemies with the Assault Stun Blast ability, killing 50 enemies with the Star 25, and killing 50 enemies with the LS-36 Breacher Shotgun. The second attachment is the Laser Pointer, an ideal choice when added onto the already small bullet spread of the Vlug, making hip firing at longer ranges a possibility. This attachment is also unlocked by completing three challenges. Killing 15 enemies with the Vlug in a single round, stunning 75 enemies with the Stun Blast ability, and getting 25 kills with the Buddy Drone ability. The Star 25 is a close quarters demon, and players should choose a loadout to accentuate the strengths of the gun. An optical attachment will really come down to personal preference. I'm not a fan of the Hellgast Hollow Sight, but it works well with the Vlug. For an underbarrel option, the Laser Pointer is the obvious choice to boost the Vlug's biggest strength in a small bullet spread. As for a sidearm, I recommend the LS-12 Ripper, an improvement over the Sta-19 due to its larger clip and burst fire attachment, which is my personal choice of attachment for the Ripper. As an explosive, it's hard to go wrong with the M194 Frag Grenade. The ability to cook the grenade to prevent an enemy's escape from its blast radius is a massive advantage. Finally, I recommend the Stun Blast ability to accompany the primary nano shield. This will allow you to slow down nearby enemies, making it easier to take them out. An added bonus is that the ability will disable enemy shields and automata in the blast radius. What the Star 25 lacks in raw power, it makes up for it in a tight bullet spread and high rate of fire. This is the perfect weapon for assault players that like to get up close and personal with the enemy. Make sure to play aggressive and flank your enemies, and you'll be able to decimate their ranks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of my Killzone Shadowfall Weapon Guide. Be sure to check back next week when we cover the VC-30 Sickle, the first Hellgast-made shotgun seen in the main series. Until then, I'll see you next time.